Yeah, what's up with it? Do it cause I love it and I stuck with it We ain't with the sub and in the cut with it Please none of the talks, I heard enough of it Like, what you gon' do? Where you at? Who you with? You ain't really about this, don't talk about it Really on the move, on the map, never slip Keep your hands to your lips, don't talk about it Real eyes, real lies, real lies All the time, stand on it If we said it, we don't walk around it Loose lips, ink ships, red cup, blue strips New phone, who this? No, we don't allow it Yo, what is good, J.I. Squad, and welcome back to it again. Another episode of J.I. Productions. It's your boy, J.I., and I'm back at it again with another banger video for you guys today, man. So, as you guys can tell by the title and the thumbnail, a lot of you guys have been asking me to do another mods list video. Um, So, that's exactly what we're doing today. We're going to be going over the mods that I have done to Vader both aesthetic mods and performance mods and give you guys the full rundown today so if you haven't already do your boy a favor hit that subscribe button turn on those post notifications drop a comment in the comment section down below let's get straight into this vlog man oh and also watch the whole video through thank you all right y'all so we're gonna go ahead and start off with the cosmetic mods first and then we'll get into the performance mods so starting off with the front of the car we have the z01 add-ons tow hook which also doubles back as a front license plate frame uh, frame we also have the drake dive planes both of these items were sourced from Wild Hammer Motorsports, if you guys are interested in getting any of the parts that you see on my car from Wild Hammer, make sure you guys go tap in with them and use my promo code JIWild to save yourself some money at checkout. Um, the front splitter is stock. The hood wrap is stock. A lot of people um, always ask me about that. The car is a 1LE, so with that being said, the car comes with the hood wrap, the front splitter, the mirrors wrapped, the tri-bar uh, rear spoiler, the uh, matte black diffuser, all come like that from factory. Now going off to the side. All right, y'all, one thing that I forgot to mention, and I know a lot of you guys want to know, the white LED side markers for the front and the rear. I got these joints from Amazon, bro. There you have it, okay? Everybody asks me about my side markers, bro. Amazon.com, that's where I got them. You can go get yours there too, no cap. Um, I did go ahead and add the ZL1 add-ons rock guards just to kind of stop this from happening, all the water being splattered off to the side from the tires. Um, and then we have the 1LE emblem. I got that joint off of Amazon for like, I think it was like 10 bucks. Um, then off to the side, we have the EOS carbon fiber ZL1 style side skirts. I really love these side skirts. It's a very good touch. Then we have the carbon fiber gas cap from, well, fuel door cover from carbon add-ons, man, you know, you gotta you gotta you know get the little touches then speaking of carbon we do have the carbon fiber antenna cover from i believe that's from carbon add-ons as well then we're gonna make our way to the rear Go this way though. so now that we're at the rear of the car again we have the 1le emblem from amazon um, we have the awe track axle back exhaust with the 4.5 inch chrome quads i really really love the way the 4.5 inch quad tips kind of you know tie in the whole rear end and make it look a little more aggressive um the license plate frame is also from amazon it's custom it says youtube and then the ji productions um we also have the zl1 add-ons rear spl diffuser splats um i really 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 wanted to get those i love how it kind of just fills that empty void that's right there when you add the side skirts and then you have a front splitter and there's nothing back there on the diffuser so i really really love that touch i'm super stoked about that um it's very small but you guys know me man i really like my cars to be oem plus so i don't go too crazy with the modifications i just do the small tasteful mods that are going to make a difference now as far as aesthetic mods for the exterior of the car that's pretty much it so we'll go ahead and jump into the interior real quick i'll talk about the small mods that i have and then 
up, we'll pop the hood and get into the meat and potatoes of this video, which I know you guys are ready for. So, popping the door open, man, you can notice we do have the carbon fiber um, passenger dashboard piece. We do have the carbon fiber knee pads. We do have the carbon fiber door piece as well. Now, the dashboard piece was sourced from Wild Hammer Motorsports. The knee pads, the transmission uh, trim bezel cover, were sourced from Next Gen Speed. Love them to death. Then we also have the Starlight headliner um, that says JI and BYL, which stands for Build Your Legacy, the name of the company. Um, that was one of the first things I did. I got the kit off of Amazon. I got two 550 light kits from Amazon. Um, and I had mod effects install them and this has honestly been one of my favorite mods ever since I got it. So there's that. Then we're gonna go over to the driver's side. And now that we're on the driver's side, we have a couple of carbon fiber pieces on the stock 1LE steering wheel. Again, it is a 1LE, so it comes with the Recaro seats. It comes with the Alcantara steering wheel and the Alcantara shift knob. Um, also, heads up display, we have the air fuel ratio gauge um, that I really needed from AEM. We got that from Wild Hammer. Again, JI Wild at checkout if you want to save yourself some money. Um, but other than that, that's pretty much it for all of the, you know, interior pieces. Let's go ahead, pop this hood and get into what you guys are really here for, man. A lot of you guys, a lot of you guys ask me, J.I., what's done under the hood? Or, J.I., I just got a Camaro. What do you think I should do to make my car fast? Here you go, okay? This is my setup. And it's a pretty quick setup. I enjoy it. Um, the fastest time that it's been in the quarter mile is in 11.6. Um, so let's go ahead and get the rundown going. We have the LT2 intake manifold, um, non-ported. We have the C8 engine cover. We have the stock throttle body. We have the Rotofab cold air intake. Peeking down there, we have the 1 and 7 8 speed engineering catless headers. We have the JLT oil catch can. Um, and then an E85 flex fuel sensor sourced from Wild Hammer Motorsports. And other than that, that's pretty much it. That's all I have done to the motor, man. It is a very, very simple bolt-on setup. Nothing crazy at all. Nothing wild. I'm not running meth. I'm not boosted. I'm not cam, stock heads. No port porting work at all. Nothing crazy. Um, future plans, you know, we are going to go wild with this car, but as of... Right now, I'm just trying to get this setup fully dialed in as far as the tune goes and everything like that. The car is tuned by NRG Performance, man. So if you guys are interested in getting your cars tuned or, you know, want to go faster and want a place to go, tap in with my boys over at NRG, man. Um, this is my setup. Like I said, it's nothing crazy, nothing wild. It's just a bolt-on setup, and the car is quick for what it is. Um, other than that, man, that's actually going to wrap it up for today's video. I know you guys want to hear the car, so let's go ahead. Close the hood. Damn, I slammed the mess out of that joint. <laughs> Close the hood and give you guys a quick little startup at that AWE exhaust. I know y'all want to hear it. Yeah, man, um, without further ado, that's going to go ahead and wrap up today's video. That's everything that I have done to my car, both uh, performance mods and cosmetic mods. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button for the kid. Drop a comment in the comment section down below. Let me know if this was helpful for you guys. Also, let me know what mod out of all the mods that we just went over is your favorite mod on Vader. Other than that, let's go wrap it up for this one. I'll see you guys in the next one. Let's go ahead and roll that outro. Peace.